Hi. Um, this is my social mo module presentation. Um, a little recap. Concept statement is investigating the social interactions in sub collaboration. My main question is how can technology facilitate this kind of experiences? And I added a new goal now to provide a space where novices can be engaged in activity design experience um, through a lucid state of mind and openness, of course. Um, on my last presentation, I uh, posed this question, what kind of experience I'm looking for? And I said, that for me, it was important to define this before I define where, where in what context to put this and uh, for who am I designing this. Um, definitely, I want to experience that is fun, uh, that something that fosters communication, uh, that has a low entry level, and incorporate progress, progress assessments, like something where you can uh, be aware of how you're progressing uh, with the experience. And something that is time flexible, something where you can experience, you know, like one minute or maybe much more time. Uh, this too definitely depend on a lot of uh, other things that I will try to explain uh, then. Also, this influences what kind of device I'm, I, I'm going to build, uh, what kind of interface. It's definitely something, I want something easy to play but challenging at the same time. Uh, something that is highly reactive to gestures, easy to set up. Um, for example, if, we're, if I'm going to the you know, private context, something you put on, on your living, in your living room, you, you don't need to be like a computer scientist to make it work. And if I go to the other side on the public uh, sphere, if it's an installation, the thing is just ready to, for you to, to try it. Um, also, I talked a little bit about this, uh, the roles of interface. Definitely, I'm, I don't want that. Uh, that's, you know, a lot of Kinect games, Wii games that where you just looking at the screen. I want something in between the, the other two. Um, I created this, um, this graph uh, plotting expectations and interface types uh, and I divided like two sides, entertainment, learning in the middle and music, music performance. Of course all these three are not mutually exclusive, they all like have a, a common ground but I needed this to like to try to figure out where to put things and in case of the interface types we can go from a toy to an instrument, uh, having all these things in the middle. Jammy interface, task-oriented interfaces, progress assessment interfaces. Um, these are all things taken from a lot of research I've done of other, other examples in collaborative uh, you know, interfaces. Um, and what I feel my ground is going to be is on this side. Uh, a little towards entertainment, something of learning. I definitely don't want it to be a toy or an instrument. That's uh, pretty clear for me. Um, also, I've talked a lot about collaboration, but with who? Uh, I'm trying to, to understand like, who, are, who will be my users, and I divide them into intimate and distance uh, relationship be between each other. We have a uh, couples. Something I could design something to play your couple or your significant other, um, with family and friends, uh, with acquaintances, uh, mixed. Like for example, two two friends and something you someone you don't know, um, and complete strangers. Um, this is not enough. So I took this and put it in. Uh, another dimension, which is uh, on one side we have private and public, and this gives, gives me an idea, it's like, okay, for example, if I'm going to work with couples, probably the most obvious solution is going, is going private, to a private context, uh, as opposed to going with strangers. Uh, you're not going to invite a stranger to your house just to have an ex a musical experience, so uh, probably that would be, you know, on the streets or something. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and that's the question. Why share an intimate experience with a stranger? Um, I'm not saying I'm going, going to... 
I'm going this uh, this way exactly, but it, it is a valid question for me. Um, also, how intimate? Why is this important? Because the level of intimacy shapes the experience, definitely. It shapes the time frame of the experience. Uh, if you don't know someone, you're not going to spend like six hours with them just because you're having an interface to play with. Um, also, the level of physicality between players. For example, if I think of an interface that uh, you know plays music, if you hug some, someone and you have to make a circle, um, probably going to the public sphere and working with strangers, it wouldn't work so well. Um, also, the level entry. If it's something you keep at home, in your living room, probably you, you can go back uh, like more than one time to the thing. So the level entry could be higher. Um, so I've been looking at some experiences, collaborative experiences. Uh, I love this picture, uh, you know, na Native Americans playing the drum. Um, it's, it's really funny. I, I've seen a lot of videos too. Uh, because um, the, the gesture is very simple and the music seems to be very simple. It's dum, 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 like this all the time. But I, I finally, ex I find it like extremely beautiful. Uh, because not, not too much about the music. It's about, you know, these people, when they are doing this uh, experience, they, they feel that they belong to the same uh, community. Uh, they feel connected between, between each other. And what is more, there, there's a level of spirituality here. They are not singing for them. They are singing to the gods or, you know, to spirits. Um, in a more uh, urban mm -hmm. environment, uh, I found some of these uh, institutions that create these community experiences, like with drum circles. All these people are not musicians, are novices. And you, you have this guy in the middle that is, it's called the facilitator, um, which is a word that I've been using before. Um, so this is kind of the dynamic. I, I was wondering here, what if this, is, instead of being a human, is a, an interface that is playing this world? Um, something to add. So this is their website, and they travel around the world creating these experiences for, you know, different communities from, uh, you know, from neighborhoods to offices. Uh, the goals, uh, some of them highlighted there, uh, decre decreasing performance anxiety, uh, easing tension between groups, supporting family relationships, blah, 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 used for education, therapy, recreation, and productivity. Uh, also, um, I've been very attracted lately to these kind of spaces, karaoke spaces. Um, <laughs> why is it funny? Uh, it's, it's really great what happens here. You know, you have a, a small space and people inside this space behave in a way that they wouldn't behave in anywhere else. They feel free to do, to behave like to be someone that, you know, they, they don't feel shame of their behavior here in this space. And so I think it's done something very interesting because it's with friends in a closer space. Also, what happens here in the photo, although it's not musical, you have this uh, little, very little space, you close the curtain and you take a picture, but you do it like differently as you would outside. It's not the same that taking, uh, of taking a picture with a regular camera outside. Here you have a space to behave like differently. You usually make like funny faces or, uh, you know, Play with your friends in here, uh, so it's an interesting idea. I'm not gonna go through all this, but I kind of I identifying now my users, stakeholders, partners. I cannot say exactly who is going to be now and uh, where exactly, and that was like annoying me, and I had like a thesis crisis <laughs> on this week because of that. Um, so my module evaluation is like, okay, now I have more and more questions. I don't have too much answers, but at least the social scope of these questions uh, are being narrowed um, down. And talking about this, I want to bring, bring out a, 
A quote uh, from Ralph H. Bauer, who is the creator of the Simon and other early electronic games, he says, coming up with ideas isn't hard. The real challenge is finding the time to actually build something and then finding a home for it. I guess we all agree with that. Uh, so thank you. Yeah. <laughs>